Greetings, Gothamites! Welcome back to Batman Arkham Origins. This is part two. Seasons greetings, vile anarchy. Because, uh, I don't know, however Adam West would do it. Uh, not really sure. So we're going to be taking down anarchy in this episode. And uh, just having a lot of fun. We're playing with the Adam West skin, which looks... It doesn't look too bad. Uh, your first like goal is 100 likes. And uh, tomorrow we have two streams of Arkham Origins playing for you guys, so... Uh, that's the plan. Only two streams tonight. You guys were there for the first episode. Now you get to see the second one. And I have a treat for uh, people who came uh, back for the next one. So, I believe uh, for next year's um, skin, I think um, Long Halloween won. But I'm not sure. It, it looked like it was between Long Halloween and uh, Night of the Round. So, anyway, with that out of the way... Let's go! <laughs> oh, I'm not wearing my Adam West! No! No, 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 they got rid of it! Ah, oh, phooey. Snap. Can I go back to the Batcave and, and get it back? Can I, I need it back. I need it back. Yep, original Tomb Raider. Holy transition, Batman! <laughs> can you guys hear the sound effects to it, though? Can I, can I go home? Can I go back? Can I go back to the Batcave? Why is it not letting me go back to the Batcave? I want to I wanna fast travel to the Batcave. Or I can't. Can I not? There, I get it. Okay. Can you guys hear it? Whoosh. Ah, that's a long loading screen, actually. I'm just hearing the bat thing. Uh. -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, that's fun. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna be doing that uh for a while. It's, it's fun. Oh well. Alright, we gotta talk to Alfred. Greetings, faithful butler. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his air against to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham soon. <laughs> ah. Time to catch more evildoers. Quick, to the Batmobile! Alfred, what's on your mind? I feel terrible, Sam. I prepared such a lovely ham for you tonight, and now you'll never have a chance to eat it. Well, we can have it tomorrow. It's just not the same. Christmas ham on Christmas morning isn't exactly the end of the world. I don't know, sir. I'd say it's pretty close. Uh. So when when I do this, you guys can actually hear the music. No. Darn. Yes. Da -da 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 -da. Well, this is turning out to be quite the Christmas Eve, isn't it? Awesome. Okay, good. Yeah, I uh, I was working on that. Hooray, it worked. That makes me happy. Good, because I can mess around with that. Because it makes it more like the Adam West playthrough. <laughs> uh, explosive gel proximity. Two batarangs. Now I have two batarangs. 
Um, what do we want? This double battering height. Why not? Uh, makes you want to hear the theme song? Ah, we can't do that. We can get away with, uh, like, messing with Warner Brothers doing just a little bit, though. Uh, oh, I need, I need to leave. Uh, so anyway, guys, oh, wow, you already got 100 likes. Holy cow. Uh, let's try to go for 130 likes for your next goal. What do you think? You think we can swing that? I think we can. Uh, so I'll be doing that sporadically uh, throughout the um, Arkham Origins series, just so people know. <laughs> Diamond District. No, we're not going there. Final offer. We have to go back. I don't think I can land here. Can I land anywhere? I can land here. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to Park Row and we're gonna um, activate the Batmobile fast travel thing. Cause, or not Batmobile. Sorry, Batwing. <laughs> That's going to get old real fast. <laughs> uh, holy transition, Batman! Da -da 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 -da. I was trying to get the one where it like fades in, like. I have to go back to the final offer, so. What just happened? Why? Kick. Ow, that's my face. Careful, citizens! Someone might get hurt. Namely, you. Ow! Okay, never mind. Stop that. Mmm. Okay, Batman is not. This is this is what would happen if Adam West was an Arkham. <laughs> if Adam West was transferred from the multiverse and he ended up in Arkham, this is what would happen to him. <laughs> Great Scott. They're not pulling their punches. <laughs> Where's my Christmas spirit? I left it in my other utility belt. I'm gonna have to make a K-Wings Let's Plays version of what? The, uh... The... this? That? Um, we have a transition. Our, our transition screen right now is, um, this. We do the Transformer spoof. Da, 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 da. That's what we, you know, that's what we did. Because we're 80s kids. Uh, I figured, why not? Alright, so we gotta go back here for Anarchy. I planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do. Okay, whatever, Anarchy. Alright, back to final offer. Uh, yep. Okay, so we're going to be disabling Anarchy's bombs first. So we got to go all the way back to the final offer. Because, well, we have to. Wee. Beat up some bad guys in the process. Oops. How's he doing this? It's the colorful costume. That's how he's doing this. Bye bye. In game lag. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Is it possible for us to actually open up a fast travel point? By himself. Ah, big deal. Cobblepot's guys are losers. It wasn't just them. Two of the assassins. Cobblepot's guys are losers. You hear that, guys? Oh. Oh, wait, Batman makes 
No, nah, they didn't see me. That's fine. <clears throat> Looks like we have another data pack. Randomly sitting out here in the middle of nowhere? That can't be it. What's this? No, that's not a data pack. That's something else. Yeah, no, that is a data pack. Never mind. Never mind. What are we going to do? Okay, so... Gotta go talk to the guy on the final offer. Hi, guys. Have a good night. And this is the GCPD building? What is this? No, this is a... Uh, this is supposed to be the police station, but they turn it into... They turn it into a train station, I believe. Uh, okay, I mean, if you guys don't want to attack Adam West, I mean, cool. I'm going somewhere else then. Continuity. See, Arkham Origins made this a train station. Arkham City, this was a, um, this was the old GCPD building. Strange, huh? Uh, anything interesting inside those? Aha! Something piqued my interest. Maybe. I don't think I can get in there without a raft. Let's see. Can I do this without the glue upgrade? So he says, no, probably not. Nope. They won't let me do it the other way, will they? Like I could use my gun thingy. Nope. Maybe there's a way to cheese this. If I could theoretically, if I could theoretically glide in there, I might be able to cheese it. I'm curious. I'm in a cheesy mood because I'm playing as Adam West. So. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. What do I have to lose? Nothing. It's my series. I can do what I want. It's my series! Yahoo! Am I gonna clear it? What? Oh, never mind. Darn! Can't do it. Well, you make me sad. Well, I need a glue grenade, which I don't have currently. Alright, time to go on the ship, talk to the Anarchy Thug, and then, yeah. Out of my way, citizens! I have to go defuse bombs! Jeez, those guys need some help. Man in colorful costume coming through. There's a riddle in here. Now there's a riddle for you. Whoa! Oh, almost did it. Boo! Third time's the charm. Uh, first try. Fourth time's the charm. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. Oops. Hey, that's just not right. Everybody having a blast? I am. Why? 
How did you not find back? Wait till we have a shocking good time. Alright, uh, how in the world do I claim that, though? It's open. The hatches are open. Just climb over the fence? Oh, that's easy. Never mind. Let's walk up and grab it. There you go. Extortion file! Good job, bats. Alright, now get me to the ship. Talk to the dude. I was doing extortion files. Whoop. Oh wait, there's an extortion file here. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Your actions will tell me what I do. No, not right now. Batman's busy. I thought there's like a um Extortion file or something hidden inside of a container. Am I mistaken? I know there is. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption can have strong. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So I offer you one. Let them right. detonate to Cosplay man. That's weird. Why doesn't it have a... I could have sworn there's something inside of there. Maybe that's later in the game. I might be misremembering something. I don't know. I have a feeling there was something inside of there, but... Hi. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Okay, anarchy. Anarchy bomb one. Off to the bank we go. Whoop. Come at him. So we have to go all the way to the Bank of Gotham first. And we don't have the grapple boost currently, so this is going to be kind of tricky. We'll make it though. Likely. So anyway, hopefully you guys are having a good Christmas Eve, and uh, you're having fun. I'm having fun, playing the best Christmas game of all time. And how fitting that it's a Batman game. But you guys know this isn't the first uh, Christmas Batman game, right? Do you know what the first Christmas Batman game of all time is? Uh-oh. Oh, yep, there's the bomb. Where's the detonator, though? Detonator's on the ground? Okay. Uh, that's another bomb. So, the detonator is where? Oh no. That might be the detonator that no, nope, that's another bomb. Oh gosh. Oh there it is. Surprise. They say 
say money makes the world go round, but it also makes excellent shackles. You're tied to your job, your mortgage, your need to buy the next shiny thing the overpriced television produces. Oh, I broke my combo. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Uh-oh. Gotham is in peril! Well done, sir. Alfred, we've got a problem. So I saw this anarchy fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. Okay. Now we need to find Anarchy's second projector thing. Uh, most wanted number two. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Okay. Anarchy supporter number two. Alright, we're going off to supporter number two now. Oh wow, you guys already got the first light goal. Uh, what was the second light goal? I don't know. Um, shoot for 170 likes next, I guess? Does anybody know who won the poll? Like, uh, what, what bat suit won? Was it Long Halloween for next year? Pretty sure, or... Mostly sure. Whoops. Whoopsies. Long Halloween one? Alright, cool. Good to know. Bruce, what are you doing? Kill me, Bruce. Kill me. Pioneer's Bridge. Uh... Ah! That was pretty easy. No, no. 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 Grab it. There you go. Good man. That's my good man. Uh... Thank you, ground in your sleep, buddy. Thank you. You having a nightmare? You having a nightmare, buddy? You dreaming of tuna? Huh? Just talking to the cat. Meh. Meh. You have a weird meow, you know that? It's Linky's first Christmas! 2023. Link's first Christmas. Isn't that right, buddy? Amber didn't make it. Amber went back. Amber went to sleep. But you're still awake, right, Linky? Sort of? <clears throat> yeah, multiplayer was shut down a while ago. Oh, crap. How dare you! Yeah, you guys will be nursing a headache. See ya.
three enemies down. Okay. D capable vigilante. Ouch. That wounded my ego. How dare they? How dare you, game? Alright, so the next anarchy supporter is up here. And if you don't, too bad. You can't shut me up any more than you can the billboards, or the branding on your clothes, or the flyers that litter the streets, or the sound bites that clock. This man crazy. that fool going on about? Go on, admit it. Like little moths to the light. Ah, whatever. We gotta shut him down to shut him up. Otherwise, we'll never be free. Shut me up any more than you can the billboards. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate... Or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Uh-huh. Linky! He's a good boy. With a branding on your clothes, with a flyer... <laughs> writing on your clothes... <laughs> Where am I going, Anarchy? Where am I going? I've planted three bombs where God Keep. That's a ways away. Oh no. Might have made a mistake. No, nah, I could still be. I might be okay. Da 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 da. Whoop. Link, do you have any advice? I thought as much. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho. That's right. Christmas Eve 2023. We are two hours until Christmas Day. Whoop. You're so smart, why ain't you rich? Oh wait, no, that's something else. That's a reference to something. But I'm not gonna tell you where it's from. No, I don't need a good scrap. Unless I'm supposed to beat you fools up. Second anarchy bomb, where? Where's the second anarchy bomb? Oh no! Oh. Probably here. Alright. Second bomb found. 
No. I already have a time code for that. Never mind. Surprise! Gotham is about to go up in a mushroom. Ow. We're gonna die. Oh, he got it off. At the nick of time. Oh my gosh. Alright, uh, now I have to find the next anarchy guy. Okay. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its You make me go all the way back. <laughs> you stinker. Uh, this is why yeah, this is why we need to activate the fast travel points. I they save so much time. All right. Set waypoint. Go in here. All right. Uh, batter, batwing, activate bat, fast travel, drop point. Your day's going better, people? Hmm. What's up, Blinky? We're gonna activate this Batwing point because we kinda need to. Oh wait, I messed up. I know what I did wrong. Um, we have to go to the, yee. Yeah, I messed up. Uh, No, 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 no. Oh! Next dude is over here. Oh, that's easy. Um, what about over here? No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I don't need to activate a bat drop point. I just go here. This is a fast travel. Easy peasy. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas, Adam. A very Merry Christmas to you. And you and you. He's real. Oh no. Whatever will we do? The cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Holy crap! You see it? Beware the fury that is Adam West. TV's Adam West. Take that, fool. Boink. Ta-da. Man, that PS3 runs hot. Okay, ooh, there's a data thingy here. Oh, it's not a data thing, never mind. I am incorrect. No, isn't this... Yeah, that thing's already done, so we need to go over here. Yoink. 
solve a crime scene at Lacey Towers. Wait a second. No, 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 no. We're not doing Lacey Towers yet. Still doing anarchy. All right. Point of interest. Fast travel. 35. Uh, search. Find supporter. Supporter 3. Okay then. Supporter number 3. We're going this way. Wait, which way? Because that thing that says level up is going to drive me crazy. Uh... I don't know. What's this? Disruptor mine, whatever? Oh, I still had some combo stuff left? Not really. What's this? Shock glove! Yes! Once that happens. Later. Okay. Up, up, and away! No, stop the thing that's just saving. I'm, you're going to get me all confused. Okay, it's this way. Whoop. No, Batman, hang on. That's not right. Hi, SWAT. Bye, SWAT. Oh no, you're having me go toward Lacey Towers. I don't want to do that right now. Ow. Woot. Okay, so... We don't want to go to Lacey Towers. Where is this Riddler dude at? That way. I mean, not Riddler. Darn it. Anarchy. Anarchy guy. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Wait. No, this isn't right. No, 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 no. We don't want to go to Enigma's base. What did I do wrong? Oh, I messed up. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strong. What? It's over there. Uh. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. All right. Come on, TV's Adam West. The game is afoot. Mostly. Anarchy Supporter 3, where? Ow. Hey! Hey! TV's Adam West not doing well. That's going to be another D. I messed up. Ouch!
That's a big ouch. Alright, alright. Where are you, Mr. Anarchy Fool? There he is. Okay. Forty minutes. Five. Stop. Last bomb. Okie doke. Anarchy's right, you know. Cops don't care about us. We'd be better off without them. But you already knew that, didn't you? Oh no, you set a bomb at the precinct. How typical. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those, I... Ah, I have to go all the way there. I don't know if I can make it without the um, grapple upgrade. We will try. Boo. Fly, Batman, fly! Use your cape glide! It's cape gliding time! Did I go the wrong way or the right way? I may be going the wrong way. Uh-oh. Methinks we are going to lose this one. Probably. Whoops. Bruce, run! Run! We're not gonna make it. I don't think we're making it this time. It's gonna be very close. Be very close. Forty seconds. Oh no. That's right, there's trouble. This is, a this is a reckoning? No, this is called a beating. Oh no. Oh no! Oh my gosh! No! Get it! Some days you just can't defuse a bomb! Burt Ward was an actually a, a pretty accomplished martial artist for the 1960s. Um, I don't know anything about... You mean the sound effect you would, when you would punch somebody and go, Bam! Boom! Biff! I, I don't... I don't know. All I know is that poor Burt Ward... Poor Burt Ward got blown up. Electrocuted. Burned. Um, he had so many bad things happen to his, him, and it, he had a stunt double, but his stunt double never really did any stunts for him. Like, Burt Ward, basically, Burt Ward was kind of like a Power Rangers actor. Like, the, the stuff that Austin St. John and company went through, like, the first season of Power Rangers and the first half of season two, um, that's what happened to Burt Ward, like, all through, uh... At least the first and second season of um, the 60s Batman show.
the reason why Burt Ward got beat up so badly in the show is because uh, they wanted the audience to be able to tell that Robin was the one right next to Batman because you had the stunt driver, you had Adam West's stunt double for punching people and stuff like that. But Burt Ward, well, I mean, the stunt double for Burt Ward didn't really look like Burt. So the studio, or the director at the time, or producer, came up with this brilliant idea that so the audience would feel like they're really watching Batman and Robin, you would always see Robin in the scene. So that means Burt had to jump in the Batmobile for the dangerous stunts of the Batmobile, the Batcopter, <laughs> the Batboat. It's always him. <laughs> that way the audience can be like, oh, yeah, look at that. There's Robin right there. But poor Bert had so many things happen to him because of that. But, I mean, looking back on it now, it's kind of funny. But also, I mean, if you really think it, like, every every time you saw Bert Ward in the Batmobile <coughs> or the Batcopter, his life was in danger. So, I mean, going back and rewatching that show and you see him, like, you know, literally holding on for dear life as this guy comes barreling out of the Batcave, this stunt driver... It just makes you really appreciate, like, the, the first live-action... Well, not first live-action Robin. Uh, third live-action Robin. The the first, um, color... In color, um, superhero show. Because, um, the other shows were in black and white. A lot of them. Uh, the Batman show was actually in color. Or Batman. It was just called Batman. Uh, poor Bert. But I mean, you know, uh, maybe if they got somebody who looked just like Robin, maybe people wouldn't have been like, oh yeah, I feel like I'm being uh, taken out of the show now because I can tell that's not Robin in the Batmobile. It's kind of ruining, ruining the immersion or whatever. And there's some other trivia I can tell you about the show, but some of it is kind of adult rated, so I don't think it's a really good idea to talk about it. <laughs> it's me! Aha! You say that, and yet I escaped. Where the heck am I going, actually? Anarchy? Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. frequency whoops that was the last bomb uh, 49 minutes 48 minutes 47 ECP frequency all right so I need to go uh, not to Lacey Tower murder we don't want to do that what is this AR glide thing no Crime scene, Jezebel, no. Confront anarchy, yes. That's what we want. Let's go. Gee whiz, Batman. Hey, Linky, what are you doing, buddy? Ba, 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 ba. Whoop. 
Uh. Alright, Anarchy, you little punk, where are you? I've planted three bombs where God Shut up, Anarchy. Gonna go wreck you at the courthouse. How's that? Sound fun? It sounds like a happy fun time. <clears throat> da, 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 da. He's a boogeyman with wings, yes. Because seeing this guy... Alright, let's do a poll. I have a poll idea. First, let me get to a stable rooftop. Alright, so we can do this. Okay. This is the poll, ready? This is a good one. Okay, here you go. This is tonight's poll. Would you fear seeing this Batman in real life? Yes, no, maybe if it was dark, I'd laugh at him. <laughs> uh, if you ran into this Batman, would you fear him? Uh... Excuse me, Santa. The courthouse. Aha. Boink. Ah. Bobice. Don't bite the Christmas tree, fool. Oof! A lot of people saying no. Maybe if it was dark. There's a lot of no's there. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, poor Adam. Sorry, but Dad Vod Batman is not scary. Wah wah. Alright, let's go teach that punk anarchy a lesson. Yeah. I'd say no, but I'd also laugh. I figured, John. I'd probably laugh at him, too. I'd be like, um... What, what is this? Why is there this bluish-purple man here? Ah! I'm so glad you came! It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what, I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. You're just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. I just realized a huge continuity, uh, continuity error with the uh, courthouse here. This is the courthouse where um, Harvey Dent was turned into Two-Face. It was an active courthouse. It was during a um, very intense trial. But in Arkham Origins, if you really think about it, um, WB Games Montreal, since basically they're reusing 
you know, key uh, places from Arkham City, because it's the Arkham City engine just expanded. Um, they also made the courthouse where Anarchy is hanging out abandoned, but in canon, this was an active courthouse. It's over. Not quite. You'll burn for what you've done. And here they made it an abandoned base for Anarchy. It doesn't look like it's an active courthouse or it's been active for years. It looks like it's abandoned. And that isn't true to Arkham City uh, canon because that same courthouse is where Harvey, um, you know, the Solomon Wayne courthouse played a big role. Yoink. Ouch. I personally feel that Arkham Origins would work better as a, um, as a game that takes place in the Arkham canon, but as kind of like a branched reality, like a multiverse type thing, in a sense. And instead of it tying into Arkham Knight, like, you could make the argument that the Batman, because WB Games Montreal made it, you could say, well, if Arkham Origins isn't connected to the main Arkham timeline, which, I mean, it can be, but I mean, it has a lot of plot holes, a lot of inconsistencies and small... Too many hiccups. We should be above this. You could connect it to Gotham Knights, though. And in fact, uh, the Batman in this game actually kind of looks like the Gotham Knights Batman. It's a similar character model. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurting you right now, kid. So bad here? I do. All the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepot are responsible. Our greed, our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour. Bury ourselves in our jobs. Consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. The message is always the same. Don't think, don't question. And what becomes of a society that's given up? It rots. Fills up with liars, cheaters, and thugs. <sighs> Uptown Ed. Bye, Anarchy. Yeah, this is not supposed to be an abandoned courthouse yet. It doesn't become abandoned until, like, later on. And you could argue that Anarchy, like, tore apart the courthouse in, like, one day. But, I mean, this looks like... This was a lot of damage done to the courthouse and like, you know. That would have taken quite a while to do the type of damage that he did to the courthouse. They're basically squatters. So this place is supposed to be, you know. Or then you just basically have to be like, well, I guess, uh... There's no way this can connect to Arkham City or Arkham Asylum. Because this wasn't an abandoned courthouse yet. <clears throat> and they literally trashed this place. Plus the wear and tear of the courthouse as well. It's a big indication. Just small stuff like that. I mean, they really... Um, they wanted to reuse all the same stuff, obviously, because they just brought in the engine. But what they should have done is the Solomon Wayne Courthouse should be a little messed up on the inside, but it's still the the courthouse in Gotham right now. It's a very famous courthouse. And they're just kind of like, eh. 
Doesn't matter. If I wrote a Batman game, I wouldn't make little mistakes like this, though. But then again, I pay attention to my surroundings, though. Whoop. People have been asking me for years, it's like, why have you never made, like, uh, a big evidence video proving that Arkham Origins isn't canon? It's like, the amount of work that you would have to do to do that, I mean, I'd have to dedicate, like, a whole month just to making it, because you'd have to get before and after shots of the Solomon Wayne Courthouse from Arkham City and this one. And also you'd be like, wait a second, then how did Harvey have the trial at the Solomon Wayne courthouse when Sam Maroney threw the acid at his hat, uh, at his face. How did, like, it's not an active courthouse according to Arkham Origins, it's kind of abandoned. Kind of ruined by squatters, so miraculously they're going to start using the courthouse again that they abandoned after the events of Arkham Origins. <laughs> Whoa, cat fight. It would just take too long to point out all the inaccuracies and continuity slip ups. Also it would get kind of depressing because I, I do like the game, but it has a lot of a lot of slips. So the easiest way to do it is the game is uh like a branched reality of Arkham. It's Arkham, sure. But you know how like the CW Flash show? Had uh, Barry go back in time in the same, like, time and space he was in. But when he came back, there were some things that changed and made them different. All units, getting calls about a disturbance. Stand by for location. That's kind of how I view Arkham Origins. It's like, yeah, it's an Arkham game, but when you try to connect it to the the, the bigger games like City and Asylum and... Arkham Knight, it's kind of hard. It's like, basically, you can cherry-pick uh, pieces of the Arkham Origins game and place it into the future, but you can't bring everything with you. Because there's just too many, like, screw-ups. Mm, the courthouse, I just proved right there, that the courthouse in this game was already, like, a squatter's paradise. Um, when, if you look at the outside of it, it doesn't even look like it's, you know... In bad shape. It's bad shape on the inside, but that's supposed to be Gotham's active courthouse right now. This is not like a abandoned part of Gotham yet. Alright, so Anarchy is toast. Uh, let's go with... I would like to do the Jezebel... Um, wait, this is Lacey... Is this Lacey Tower? No, Lacey Tower is way all over here. So we're going to do the Jezebel Fall Plaza crime scene. You thought Rocksteady said this game was 25 years before Asylum? No. We got into a... Who was it? It was either WB Games Montreal or Rocksteady said that Asylum... Or Origins takes place... Uh... Nine years before Arkham Asylum or something. At least I think they said that. Or did they say nine years before Arkham Knight? I don't remember. It did get the fans up in a an uproar because they were like, wait a second, how could that be? How could it only be nine years before Arkham Knight? And then over time they changed it, but I've never heard 20 years. I've heard 12, I've heard 13, I've heard 14 years. It'd be nice if it was 20 years. Then you could definitely fit everything in, but not likely. Their PR made a big oopsies. Confront Anarchy 105. Crime Investigation. What is it called? Jezebel Plaza. Whoops. Plaza. Crime. Fall. Oh! So WB said 10 years before night. 
And then Sefton Hill said 25 years before night. Oh, really? Okay. So they went back and forth with their little tug of war then. Okay. I've never actually heard Sefton Hill say t um, 25 years. That's kind of cool. Way to stand up for your uh, cannon there, Sefton. I have a lot more respect for him now. He stood up to uh, WB. Yeah, because WB made too many mistakes. There's no way. It's just, they squandered 25 years that they could have made, like, so many different Batman stories. You could have done Nightfall, you could have done Ra's al Ghul, you could have done Batman meeting Robin for the first time. Especially if Sefton Hill says, no, the Arkham Universe is 25 years until uh, Arkham Knight. That makes a lot more sense. There's a lot more you can play in that sandbox if you have that type of mentality, but, I mean... Will they ever play in that sandbox again? I don't know. Because what made me so enraged with Arkham Origins back in the day is when they had the audacity to say the nine years, I was like, well, how many games are you going to make? You can only make one more really game after that, or maybe a second game, because you're limiting how much cannon growth you can have. Just keep fighting. You don't you don't want to pull the whole new 52 nonsense where you basically condense and water everything down. It's like you want to give Batman time to be Batman so that you literally have a gold mine in front of you. You could keep milking this with games like Arkham Origins or Arkham City and fans would actually continue to buy it. Just like fans continue to support um, Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed games aren't too drastically different. It's essentially the same formula. The difference is the story changes. It introduces new characters, takes you to exotic locations, and it changes up the gameplay just a little bit. You could do the same thing to, uh, you know, a Batman Arkham game, like, set as a uh, prequel or a sequel to this one. You don't have to just be like, ah, I don't really want to blah, 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 blah. There's a lot more you could do with it. So that always bothered me. Um, and I was actually there when I challenged, um, I believe it was either the writer or one of the programmers that worked on Arkham Origins. And it was at E3 of uh, 2013. Dude got so heated that he walked off um, the interview area where I was... We were doing, I think it had like a WB logo behind us. We were sitting down, and I was asking him a bunch of questions for the um, publication I worked for. And I started to question him on some of the continuity things that I had based on the actual game that I got to play. Like, you know, I got hands-on. I got to play for like 30, 35 minutes or something like that. And I was talking to him about how like, you know, <laughs> I remember what I did. I was like, it, um, I find it interesting that in this game, you have the uh, train station, uh, the Gotham train station, be what essentially was in Arkham City, the GCPD building, which, you know, during this time um, in the canon, it says it was active police station, but yet you have it as a train station. That That's a very interesting choice. And the guy's like, well, I mean, it's uh, just a, a building. And I'm like, oh, okay, I see. And they said... Also, I find it very interesting that Batman is using the grapple boost, um, which was a prototype in Arkham City. Uh, how do you explain um, this occurrence? And the guy was like, well, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a gameplay choice. And I said, okay, all right, I can understand that. The grapple boost is fun. And he's like, yeah, yeah, it is, it is fun. And <laughs> then I brought up like a character or something I shouldn't have. And he's like, you know what? I'm done with this interview. He says, this is a very... This is a very pressing interview. And he took off his mic and he walked off. And I was just like, wow. And then somebody from out back with a clipboard came up to me. And they're like, yeah, you can't air this interview. And I was like, for what? What did I do? Did I say something that's under NDA? And they're like, no, you, you asked a lot of in, intrusive questions. I was like, I didn't even ask any rude questions, though. I'm just asking him about the story and how, you know, it doesn't really match up with the game that it's based on. I, I said, I don't, I wasn't rude. I was very polite. 
And the dude, you know, he just walked off and then some, it was either a girl or a guy with a clipboard came and talked to us. And then I had to explain to my editor, hey, we don't have a interview, um, but we can use part of this transcript. So, I will always remember that E3. <laughs> And I still hold to the fact that I didn't do anything wrong. I was just asking questions. I was just being a game journalist because that's what I was. Uh, I think that he got too emotional and he had no idea. He wasn't on the same intelligence level as me and he got spooked and he ran away. Uh, so it was like either a, a clash of like... I don't know, something was going on there. Uh, whoop. Boom! Because as I recall it, my um, viewers had a lot of questions that they wanted me to ask um, WB Games Montreal, and I did. So, I... Yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't like... When some other YouTubers went and... Not Warner Brothers, but there was a... I think it was Angry Joe that did it. He went to a, um, a press event, and he was very rude. And he had his notebook, and he was being a terrible journalist. Because he's no journalist. He's a content creator. Um, he was pretending to be a journalist. And he asked a lot of very like rude and obnoxious questions for his audience and stuff like that. And it was like one of the worst uh, video game interviews that I've ever seen in my career. And it happened in, like, 2011, 2012, I think. It was just laughable. In fact, a lot of us in the game industry, like, that were press, you would actually use his interview as what not to do during a game interview. It became, like, a running joke in the industry because, you know, he wasn't actually game press. Um, and how he went about his interview was totally unprofessional. Um, it was He made the game developer very uncomfortable. Um, he asked a lot of very probing questions that weren't what game journalists really did back then. We did ask hard-hitting questions, but we would lead up to certain things. Like, he was just, like, kind of, like, trying to do, like, a Jerry Springer thing or something. Like, he just, he, you could tell he had no idea what he was doing. Um, so he kind of, at least in the, the game journalist circle, he was kind of a laughing stock for a while. And again, this was back in like 2012, because I was um, a game journalist from the year 2004 until 2014, and I was part-time by 2014, so I was actually training my replacement, because I wanted to be on my YouTube channel full-time. Uh, but yeah, my last two years as a game journalist was pretty interesting. The WB Games Montreal E3 incident, and then I think there was... Um, the girl who I was training to replace me, she was kind of an idiot. So I, I remember having a lot of um, a lot of face palming moments when just trying to explain the basics to her because she didn't understand. Uh, and it's not like you know girls were dumb or anything. This girl in particular just wasn't very bright, and it felt like the only reason that my boss hired her is because she was pretty. So you know. Uh, trying to train her was... Uh, it, I got a lot of headaches. And uh, she didn't actually know anything about video games either, so nobody at our company even knew how she got the job. Right? So, that was... Ugh. That was awkward. Today, nobody would care, but back then, I mean, we had, um, we had a code of conduct, we had certain things that you needed to know as a game journalist. You needed to know, like, certain pop culture references. You needed to know how a game would actually uh, be similar to another type of game so you could reference it. So, you know, it, it's one thing to have the knowledge of video games and, like, not actually have played them because just knowing about something doesn't mean you actually know about it, right? So she had head knowledge when it came to the games, but she never played the games, so she couldn't bring that um, experience factor into, like, her work. So, you know, 
she would basically try to lie about playing the game, and then when I would look over her review, I could tell immediately she never played the game, and she was just, like, trying to be very factual or very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, very informationable. Very informationable, but it didn't make any sense, because if somebody had actually played the game, they could easily be like, okay, wait a second, this... This is not true, or you can't actually do this, or that's not what the game felt like when I played it. You could tell that she was a phony. But I was retiring anyway, so I did the best I could. So I basically told her, the most important thing that you need to remember with this, it's like, you're very, you're very good at wording things, but you can tell that you've never played this game, nor have you played the game that you're trying to reference. You're just like... Uh, stating obvious things that people are just going to gloss over your work and then they're going to leave because, for one, it's boring to read. Um, most of your... Uh, mm, most of your experiences are made up and gamers can tell because gamers aren't stupid. And you made so many small mistakes. And she kept doing it over the course of, I don't know, I think it was like three months. To the point where I remember I was like... I'm mostly full-time on my YouTube channel now, and it's like, uh, so-and-so, can you finish this? Because I'm done. I don't want to... I can't deal with this. Um, uh, you know, because she's... I'm losing my patience with her, and I don't want to hurt her feelings, so... I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing. I'm done. And my coworker finished off, uh, the rest of her training. Coincidentally, she actually stayed at that company for three years, and then she left... And she went and she became a weather girl or something like that. So, I mean, she didn't even stick around very long. So, I mean, you know. Because basically, she was just using it as a, a stepping stone to get into, like, real... Uh, well, I wouldn't say real journalists, but, like, more, like, news-oriented stuff. Like, she was shooting for anchor, but she ended up becoming a weather girl or something. Uh. But, yep, I'll always remember that stuff. Because I always tell people this, like, all these years later. Head knowledge is important, like, knowing stuff, right? But you have to have the experience. Otherwise, people can immediately tell you're a fraud. That'd be like me playing Arkham for the first time, acting like I know everything about it, but my gameplay sucks, or um, I don't know basic aspects of, like, how to use Batman's gadgets or whatever. Like, I know... I have the spreadsheet, I know what the gadgets are and what they do, but I've never personally actually used the gadgets, or I don't know that I could use the gadgets in combat, or, um, you know, certain aspects about Batman's abilities in this game. Like, it would just be, like, very, like, kind of, like, fact sheet oriented. And those don't make good videos, those don't make good reviews. The most important thing that I've always told people is you have to back up your knowledge with experience. Like, you have to show your audience that you are confident, you know what you're doing, and that you can just explain the basics, but also explain it in a way that they know that you played the game. It's pretty simple. But game journalists don't do that anymore. So, I don't know. It's kind of like a dying art that's being replaced by YouTubers anyway. Most people just don't even really care about game journalists anymore because they don't think they're honest. <laughs> so, they just look at YouTubers... And now YouTubers are becoming shills, so it's like, where's where's the honesty anymore? Ryan Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. Uh, it's out of the wall. Story time. Alright, that's both wall. Okay. Scanny scan scan. Whoa! This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. I should check the roof. We're gonna make him rewind so he goes back up there. Okay, so we're gonna have him freeze frame. And then I go back up. Yoink. Oh wait, I thought I could activate it. Uh, did I do something wrong? I'm missing something. Unless they want me to go to the very top of the roof. 
He goes splat. Dead. Alright, what did you bring down with you? You brought something else with you that I have to scan. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Wait. They want me to go to the very top of the roof? I think that's what they want me to do. Yeah, they want me to go to the top of the roof. Okay. Was it an accident? Rewind. Be kind. Rewind. Oops. Knowledge is key, but so is experience. Because you need to use your head knowledge to explain it in a way that, you know, people can tell that you actually are like them. You've played the game, and you can give them a proper explanation, as well as, you know, providing information about stuff or, uh, you know, having uh, an understanding of gaming as a whole and being able to reference other games. I remember when I applied for a journalist position in 2004, my editor asked me, like, a bunch of questions that it didn't seem like it was connected to video games. But, like, he asked me, how is my, like, pop culture references? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He says, you know, like, Princess Bride, Star Wars, um, you know, all this other stuff. I'm like, uh, I've seen Princess Bride. And who hasn't seen Star Wars? He's like, great. He says, because that's going to be important. I'm like, why? He says, uh, have you ever read a Nintendo Power issue? I was like, yeah. He says, you know how those are funny and stuff? He says, a lot of those reference a lot of, like, pop culture movies like Indiana Jones. And, you know, because video games from the 80s and 90s and even the early 2000s reference a lot of uh, pop culture stuff. And if you go back and you read a lot of uh, journalist reviews from back then, you can see it. Whoops. Evidence. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints. Two sets of fingerprints. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes. Yeah, this is PS3. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have. Shills? No. What do you mean? By the way, this video is brought to you by Surfshark. Surfshark. Uh, link is in the description. Sorry about that, guys. I had a, a PSA. Or not PSA. What do you, what do you call it? Uh, this, this video is sponsored, so uh, I have to be very careful what I say. Arkham Origins is the best game ever. Um, you, you, um... Arkham Origins is the best game in, in uh, all of Arkham. It's great because you play as a younger Batman. And it doesn't have any continuity issues whatsoever. Um, I was wrong about my original assessment of the game. Warner Brothers is the best company ever. And, um, yes, I love Arkham Origins. It's the most underrated uh, game in the franchise. And uh, just because it reuses elements of Arkham City and uh, other things means it's the bestest game ever. Um, yes. That's all I have to say. Please reinstate my uh, shill position at WB Influencers. Thank you. I was not reading off a script. That, that was my honest feelings. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Oh, I'm totally, yeah, I'm totally copying Slick. Slick's a friend of mine, so I can get away with it. It was a smart idea that Slick did, actually. It's a parody. But I feel bad for um, Slick and Salvage and uh, a couple other people who are getting constantly hounded by um, Warner Brothers. It's kind of messed up because it's important to be able to have... I wouldn't say the shill side, because, I mean, you know those guys are yes-men. Um, they hardly said anything bad about Gotham Knights either, so, I mean, that, that got them in. Um, and Gotham Knights was a cluster mess. It was bad. 
Um, and the fact that if you go back and you watch all the, the, the Gotham Knight reviews from these shills, basically they said that the game was amazing. And then, like, I think it was like two or three weeks after the game came out, then they posted their honest thoughts on a live stream or something. And it's like, okay. So it's like you just wanted to keep your game copy and you wanted to get your early access and all this other stuff. It's like, I get it, but it's like, you don't have to shill that hard. It's like, even when I was a um, WB partner or an ambassador or whatever, um, from, you probably couldn't tell, but from the time of Arkham City all the way through um, Arkham, no, not Arkham Origins. I didn't get a review copy for Arkham Origins. Um, it was Arkham City that I got early, uh, Injustice, and, uh, a bunch of LEGO games. But every time I played those games, I was not, like, a paid commercial. I was telling people, you know, what I honestly thought about it, if it had good or bad qualities to it. Um, because, you know, I learned honesty because that's what I got hired as a journalist. Like, that's what my editor taught me was, you know, to have some type of journalistic integrity. Um, you don't want to lie to your audience. You want to do the best job that you can. And that's what I really believed in. Right? So when I would go about and do this stuff, um... I would incorporate what I used to do for my written reviews. And eventually that got me in trouble. <laughs> because... Mm, these companies didn't always want to hear your constructive criticism about their game. They wanted you... They wanted your massive audience size, whether it was 500,000 subs or 250,000 subs. And they wanted to use that as, like, to prop you up as, like, a, a commercial for them to give them good publicity. They don't want your honest opinion. And Nintendo especially. I love Nintendo. But Nintendo's brand ambassador program was wicked corrupt. It was really bad. Um, and uh, eventually, Nintendo came right out and said it to us. I wish I recorded that call, but I didn't. Also, there's a lot of legal reasons why I don't record calls with developers and publications. Or, like, uh, game publishers is because, I mean, you have to legally tell them you're recording. Because, let's say you sue them, <laughs> and uh, in discovery, the the judge or, you know, the opposing counsel finds that you recorded a conversation that you didn't alert the person that you're on the phone with that you recorded. That can get me in all kinds of legal mumbo-jumbo. Um, so, but... A lot of people do end up recall, uh, recording calls of people, but it's not technically legal. You have to let the participant know that you're recording them, and they have to give you their permission. Otherwise, it's an... I think they call it entrapment. I don't remember. Um, but, anyway, back to the whole Nintendo thing. So, with Nintendo, their brand ambassador program, they never said out loud to me that I was basically a paid commercial, which I was never paid. They gave me games like two weeks early um, from the 3DS all the way through the Wii U, the 3DS life cycle and the Wii U. And um, we got into a, a headbutting match uh, numerous times. Uh, and they would actually call me over the on the phone and they would grill me, uh, especially over my uh, my thoughts or my promotional stuff of Star Fox Zero. Now, if you guys don't remember Star Fox Zero, it wasn't that great of a game. It had a lot of issues with its motion controls. And me being the honest guy I was, when I covered that game, um, Nintendo went back, or rather Golan Harris, and they were pulling from parts of my video that I did, and they were using that to, you know, basically tell me you're out of the program. Because they went back and they, they read through it, and they were like, yeah, you can't say those kind of things. And I said, well, uh, to be honest, uh, nowhere in the terms of service does it say I can't be honest. Um, you know, like, and I, you know, I played through the game. I didn't bash it. It's not like I was sitting there like an angry YouTuber, like cussing up a storm. And I was just pointing out, you know, okay, this isn't really working well. They should probably patch this or... Um, 
you know, I was just doing my regular job, and I was thankful for getting the game early. But even though they sent me the game, I even told a lot of companies, and I still do this, I say, just because you send me the game early doesn't mean that you can shut me up. Uh, I'm going to say whatever I'm going to say. If you have a problem with that, don't give me the game. Um, am I going to be respectful and, you know, uh, professional with your product? Yeah. But if I have a problem with it, I am going to bring attention to it because I'm not just going to sweep it under the, the rug for compensation. That's not what I do. I've never done that. So, mm, Nintendo already knew that about me, though, because when I signed the contract with them in 2011, I think it was, it's either 2011, 2010, um, they already knew that about me. The new hire that they had, that lady apparently didn't know, so it created this huge problem with Gullen Harris and me. And eventually it led to my dismissal before the uh, Switch came out. So they were basically um, going over our entire series that we did of... Uh, what was the name of it? Oh, and they, they didn't like my choice comments over... Um, what was the name of that game? That weird uh, Fire Emblem Pop Star game. Uh, it'll come to me. Uh, project... What was the name of that? Uh, it wasn't called Fire Emblem. It was, what was it called? I got in trouble for that. I got in trouble for that. I got in trouble for Star Fox Zero and, believe it or not, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess HD coverage I got in trouble for. Tokyo Mirage Sessions! That's it. I got in trouble for what my, my choice comments for uh, the, the little bit of content that we did for that game. tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof. I couldn't risk him warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Ooh. Alfred, contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. I threw him off a roof. He's fine. Probably. Uh, wait, where is he? No, he's right there. He's fine. He's taking a nap. Don't worry about him. Yeah, so, I mean, you gotta be really careful about recording, uh, calls with people. Because <clears throat> that can get you in legal trouble. It's not just, aha, I provided my receipt. It's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna sue you in oblivion because I didn't give you permission to uh, record me. That's entrapment. Now you're, now you're gonna face criminal charges. <laughs> I didn't give consent for you to record me. Uh, it's like, you show those receipts in court. You're in trouble now, bucko. Uh, suspect Jezebel. Uh, Jezebel. Um, suspect. Ta-da. Right, so that was, what was that? Kind of free roaming. Goofing off. Call us goofing off. Goofing off. So anyway, to uh, to finish my, my story with Nintendo. So when I told them legally um, on the phone that their dismissal of me, I mean, it was their choice. But nowhere in the contract did it say that you couldn't be critical of their games. Lo and behold, when I was actually officially let go before the switch came out um as a parting gift they gave us uh five switch games and then they completely lost our phone number uh, for everything after that and uh, back then it actually was hard to get interviews with nintendo unless you were brand ambassador so 2017 on it was very hard to get uh interviews with nintendo or uh, do anything with them um, but anyway, their new terms of service that they released in 2017 clearly stated that you were not allowed to have a, a contradictory opinion. It was literally there in the legal language. So everything that I talked to them about on the phone, 
I kind of like screwed over future um, Nintendo brand ambassadors because you were no longer allowed, uh, according, according to the terms of service, to actually be uh, critical or say anything that would be dismissive or a uh, bunch of other stuff. So that's my fault, but also that's kind of my claim to fame in the brand ambassador program. So a friend of mine who was still in the program actually sent me a copy of their uh, 2017 Terms of Service, and I was kind of laughing when I was reading over it. It was like, wow. It's like, so basically I said what they want, because uh, I was talking to a person who was still in the program. They don't want YouTubers to be honest with their product. They want a commercial. And the person's like, yeah, it seems like that. And I'm like, so you're going to stay there? He says, I like getting games two weeks early. I was like, wow, so you're, you're just going to damage your soul huh and the guy's like yeah I guess uh, and he did stick around for a while but eventually he was dismissed from the program so um, because I don't know if you guys heard about this but in uh, 2019 or not 2019 a year later somebody broke um, NDA and uh, you know Nintendo gave out the game two weeks early and the person leaked the entire game on their channel two weeks before the game would even drop because they thought because Nintendo gave them the game, that meant that they could rush to put content on YouTube and there wouldn't be any repercussions because they were a brand ambassador. Um, when even you were a brand ambassador, if they gave you the game two weeks early, you still had to follow the legal requirements of when you could post your content. So the people that they brought in to replace us actually broke the law. So then they had to ratify their Nintendo brand ambassador program by 2018 and basically, no more content creators would get the game no less than two days before release. So, had they kept us in the program, I'm just saying, maybe Nintendo brand ambassadors would still be getting the games two weeks early. I'm just saying. I mean, they let us go and then chaos happened because they brought people in who were kind of snakish. They replaced us with yes men that had their own agenda and, you know... We never, ever leaked a game uh, until its, you know, NDA was up. We made coverage of the game after getting it two weeks early, but we never broke NDA the entire years we were there. And, you know, it was just kind of funny. Um, so I always... It, it feels to me like companies and people that burn me, they always get retribution. It might take a while, but, like, the, the karma, like, ghost comes for people who burn the K-Wings. Eventually it happens. It might not happen right away, but it's like it comes for you. Kind of like the Angel of Death from uh, Mask of the Phantasm. So people think they get away with something, but eventually, you know, life ends up catching up with them. I've seen it happen a dozen times to creators and companies. So. Whoop. And I still have a lot of good working relationships with uh, different game developers now, but... The Nintendo and the WB one definitely hurt my ego, because I do have an ego. You, you can't do this business and you can't be a radio DJ like I was without bringing some type of, like, <laughs> egocentric stuff into your work. You just, you know, you gotta talk big sometimes and, you know, my voice really does kinda help out. But I try to keep that in check as much as possible. Yoink. Alright, what do we want to do now? And do we have any other fun things to do, or do we have to go do story stuff? What's this? This is Jezebel. Oh, what's this? Point of interest! Nah, I don't care about that. Uh, We have to do the Lacey Towers thing, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, let's do the Lacey Tower thing. May as well. Uh, we'll call this a two-hour stream, do the Lacey Tower investigation, and then what else? Let's go! Da -da 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 -da. Hot take, this is better than City. I mean, the gameplay-wise, it's better than City. Story-wise, I don't know. I think the gameplay in 
and Arkham Origins is fantastic, but the story is just either too predictable or it does things that bother me, like in terms of like uh, ruining later established games. It completely um, takes away from Bane's situation. Uh, in this game, Bane is the one who creates the formula that, you know, uh, mixes Titan and other stuff to turn him into a monster. But in Arkham Origins, or not Arkham Origins, excuse me, bleh, it's getting late, so I'm kind of tired. Um, in Arkham Asylum, it is the, the witch, the Bruja, who experiments on Bane to a horrifying degree that gives him post-traumatic stress. That turns him into the Titan monster that we see in Arkham Asylum. That was supposed to be a first-time occurrence. But the fact that um, WB Games Montreal was like, Hey, you know that thing that ha happened in Arkham Asylum that was a cool boss battle? Let's do that for Bane again. Um, but, you know, this time it'll be for the first time. But it's like, but it never happened prior to that. That's why it was such a shocking moment for both Bane, Batman, and everybody involved. It was supposed to be like a horrifying thing. And they just kind of like, you know, just reused that concept. Which, you know, completely takes away from the impact that that has in Arkham Asylum. Because it's supposed to be the first time it happened. So things like that would bother me. And, you know, of course the, the writer who walked off during my interview in 2013 at E3... That dude bothered me. I said some choice words under my breath about that guy when he was walking off the set. Um, but... Uh, it is what it is. I love the gameplay of this game. I used to free roam this game so much. Um, I love the way Gotham looks. I love the atmosphere. I love the music. I love the gadgets. Um, I like the costumes. For the most part. I think um, Arkham Origins has some of the best skins. Like, not all the skins are as bad as some of the later games or some of the earlier ones. It has, like, a good variety of great skins to play as. Um, the Batwing fast travel is amazing. The cutscenes are really cool. The boss battles are incredible. The story is just kind of meh. And the continuity issues are kind of meh. But um, everything else is solid. It's very, very well done. Mm, it's too bad the same team that made this game kind of failed when they made Gotham Knights, though. Because they should have done a much better job. They could have done a much better job. <clears throat> 143... Uh, Lacey Towers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dr. Young is in this. Yep, her apartment can be seen in this. Adam West is going to investigate. A murder, most foul. Do 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 ba da 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 da. Do 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 do. There she is, Doctor Penelope Young. Let's put an Easter egg for Arkham Asylum. Yay! The problem is, I get so invested in the story of these games, because, like, for me, the Arkham games was kind of, like, a much easier explanation of Batman lore than trying to buy so many different Batman comics and getting the right issue numbers and spinoffs to, you know, complete, like, full stories, or full story arcs. Like, you have to buy Batman and then jump to Nightwing and then go to Detective Comics, something or another. Then you gotta go to the Birds of Prey, and then you go to the Robin book, and then you go somewhere else, and then you get the full story. 
Um, whereas you know, Arkham was just kind of like every game was its own little thing. Plus, you had nice little knowledge nuggets with the the bios and the um, criminal tapes. It all just made the world like so exciting to learn about. And you just kind of like I soaked it up like a sponge every game. And then when Arkham Origins came out, it disappointed me because you you can only cherry pick certain elements of Arkham Origins that literally do connect to future games. But everything that happens in this game cannot connect because it contradicts point A, point B, point C, point D of the timeline. And it just it creates like this instead of this this smooth transition from game to game, it's basically like a plate of spaghetti that's just a mess. It's a you know, it's spaghetti, so it's good, but it's a mess. It, it's not, like, well put together. Does, do people uh, kind of understand that, or? I Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't matter. That's why I've been so critical of Arkham Origins for, like, ten years. That's pretty much the only reason. Everything else is solid. I love the detective elements. I love... Uh, so many aspects of this game. This was like one of my most played Wii U games. To the point where I believe I did unlock the Injustice costume. I have to double check though. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask. But I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Oh, you haven't seen this part? Uh, no, Deanna, you'll you'll see who kills. Uh, later in the series, it's <coughs> kind of a twist. I can identify but you might figure it out. You're smart. Tiffany Ambrose. It's one kind of a predictable one of thing. Best. She was no angel. Long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The thing is, Arkham Origins starts out very strong. Like the first arc is a great detective ride and then by the time you get into the second arc of the game the red herring if you will it was kind of disappointing for a lot of people it kind of split the Arkham fandom in half because the first arc it's like it could go anywhere you know it's kind of a mystery like who killed Black Mask who did all this other stuff all these different murders and investigation stuff going on throughout Gotham you know it, it, it really immerses uh, the player into this world and then they kind of jump the shark, and then the very end of the game, they go back to basically the ending that people didn't like from Arkham Asylum, <laughs> more or less. So, I mean, it, it's like some parts of this game is original, and then a lot of Arkham Origins just copies and pastes from both Arkham City and Arkham Asylum in order to complete its game. And it's a shame that they did that, but... I think they did a good job. It's just, it's very evident. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. Destroying evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. <laughs> Whoops, I messed up. The bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Yep. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin. They're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The 
The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. Streaks her shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. Whoop, 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 whoop. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder. The, the intruder. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. And that's behind the counter. See, whoever um, worked on the detective elements of this game, they did a great job. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Investigation. Rum from the man in the closet? I don't, I don't know what that means. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body. An unknown shooter and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Yay! Wow, the police left her hanging there, huh? Yep. I mean, if this happened a couple days ago, the police wouldn't leave the bodies still here. Even if they just came to the crime scene like today, I'm pretty sure they would take the bodies down. Whoop. Alright, so we're gonna level up. What do we want to level up? Uh I don't even know what this does. Sure. Blah, 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 da, 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 da. Now there's gonna be a dude coming out of the door. Christmas tree. Oh, there he is. Sorry, not sorry. Later. Yep, most of the GCPD is still corrupt, like Batman Year One. Yep. Gordo's the only really good guy. Eight two. Come in, eight two. Dispatch, Delta four four. Can you raise Delta eight two? Stand by four four. Delta eight two. Delta eight two. Come in. Delta eight two. Come in. Delta eight two. Report. 
Delta 4-4, no response from 8-2. Please proceed inside to confirm 8-2 status. 10-4 dispatch. Whoopsies. Okay, so do we have another thing we can investigate? It is almost Christmas Day here in uh, Pennsylvania. That is the Enigma. We don't want to go there. Do we have any other thing that pops up? All right. What I would like to try to do with the time that we have remaining, I want to activate some fast travel points. So I hope you guys don't mind. But we're going to go to this tower here. That's the plan. Tower and Park Row. Like, what? What do they call this area? Uh, this is Park Row. All right, yep. Yeah. Radio Tower, Park Row. Boink. So, Luke, do you really like beating up cops? Uh, I mean, they're just a video game character. Mm, they're corrupt, so Gotham is basically New Jersey, except a really bad version of New Jersey. Boink. Eventually, Jim Gordon. Attention all units, we need everyone on the side. No 10 until further notice. 10-10. Ooh, I think something just popped up, but I want to do the radio radio towers anyway. Okay, no. Uh, bulletin is going to be posted soon. Wait. Oh, no. That's the AR thing. Yeah, never mind. I'm still going to activate one of the things. Eventually, Jim uh, basically gets all the bad apples out of uh, the GCPD. And uh, he restructures the organization to a police force that is willing to work with Batman instead of, you know, against him. And also you know, cops that are against the whole organized crime thing. Because right now you have a lot of cops on the take in this game. Uh, like Commissioner Loeb was. Commissioner Loeb was a guy who was actually under uh, the pocket of Black Mask and some other people. And that's why he was surprised that Black Mask was going to execute him because, I mean, he's already... <laughs> Black Mask already has him on the payroll, so... Why would he kill him? Right? But of course, uh, we'll find out later for people who've never seen this game. That's right, Linky. I don't think I can do this one yet. No, I can. Wait, no. Yeah. Y I'm pretty sure I can do this one. I can do Park Row. I think. I think, I think, I think. Hi, oh. You're done. Goodbye. Oh no! Bam! What happened to peace on earth? Uh. Ten ten shots fired. Thank you, Wally. Ready for round three, then? Let's see what you can do. Be quiet. Enigma. Right. There are also some things we should discuss, but we can attend to them when you're finished. You're like super annoying, guy. You can finish. You're like super annoying. All right. Uh, what do I do to get in here? Can I go through the window? Is it really that simple? Wait, really? Huh! Really? I thought I could go through there. Is 
Uh, will you not let me do this? Whoops. Giving up? Don't be sad. Your mind's just not built for this sort of thing. Wow. Floor vent? You saw a floor vent, John? Where? Oh. Good eye. Careful now. That's public property. You're crawling around in vents like a common rat. How expected. You are so annoying, dude. Gosh. Uh There we go. Ta da. Oh, that poor door. You really should apologize. Nope, I'm not gonna apologize. You apologize. I don't think so. This isn't a game, Enigma. Oh, but it is. And one year more than welcome to stop playing. Now you need to stop interfering with my work. Tackling these towers is one thing, but my handlers, my data, my network relays, those aren't meant for you, so back off! Alright, Batwing Point has been enabled. There we go. Hooray! Now we need to go do another one because we want fast travel. <laughs> we want fast travel. All right, that'll make life easier later. Um, can't do this one though. This one you need, you need the uh, glue grenade. Um, industrial. Uh, I think the industrial one can be done. We can go look. Yoink. Da, da, da. You can do industrial? Awesome. Aha! No, I don't think I will. Goodbye. I mean, New York City has gotten dangerous, though. There didn't used to be crimes during the day. In New York City, there's certain places you don't want to be around, like, at 2 in the morning, but... There's been a lot of violent crimes that have been occurring during the day for the past... Probably, say, since the pandemic. I had a friend who lived in New York City their whole life. He was raising a family and they moved. Because they didn't think they was safe there as much. There's a big difference between when Giuliani was mayor and this uh, other guy. Because there was a dude who was tough on crime and then you have people who aren't in tough crime. And then crime basically runs rampant. Now, there are other places in the U.S. that have worse crime than New York, but New York's not really better off compared to when it, Giuliani was running the joint. Because you, you kind of have, like, a district attorney in New York City right now and a mayor that's very lenient towards types of criminals. And it, you know, if there's no real punishments, I mean, what's to prevent people from committing even bigger atrocities? There really isn't. In order to put fear into people, you gotta, you know, 
you gotta maintain those laws and you have to punish people for breaking the law. Otherwise, people aren't gonna respect the law. That's just common sense. But there are worse places in the U.S., and that's terrible. I used to go to Chicago quite a bit uh, 20 years ago. You won't catch me in Chicago again. Not safe. I was talking about Giuliani in the past. I'm not talking about him in the present. Regardless of what happened in his future, he was a good mayor in the past. Uh. Uh, let's see. So we're going to industrial. Industrial is what way? What way, what way, what way, what way? Uh, this way. No, yes. Yeah, it's this way. Why are those guys all red? Oh, that's a drug deal. Or is that a gun deal? Eh, it's not important. They're not an industrial tower, so I'm not going to bother with them. That's when I have the electrocutioner gloves. There's Ace. Whoops. Yeah, this is the way. And then once I do industrial... John, after industrial, what other um, radio towers thing can I do? Can I hit up... Um, is it possible to to do the Diamond District or the... Where's the Bowery? Is the Bowery even in this? Yeah, there it is. Although I don't really think I need to do the Bowery because I park... No, Bowery's already done. I can do Industrial and maybe the Diamond District. No, no, I can't do Diamond. Burnley, maybe. Is this one open? Yeah, this one's already open. Okay. I'm just going to do industrial, maybe Burnley. And then we can easily just hop around a lot easier. That's what I tell people. Like, it's always good to open up your fast travel locations. Uh, unless you enjoy free roaming. Free roaming's fun and everything. But if you're trying to get through the story faster or you don't, you know, yeah, you're doing a live stream. And you want things to go a little bit quicker, then yeah, I highly recommend you do the uh, as many fast travel ones as you can. Some of them you're not going to be able to do because uh, it requires a certain gadget and a certain point in the game for it to activate. But we can do this one. Whoop. Excuse me. And it should now be Christmas morning. Let's see. Is it? Yep, Merry Christmas! It is Christmas Day here in the East Coast. So you in California, it is three hours away for you guys since it's now 9 p.m. Christmas Eve. It is 12.07 a.m. Christmas morning 2023. Hooray! Rather than no presents, I just want to sleep. Woo! Ouch. It's a shame I can't do my break weapons thing until later in the story, but oh well. Hey, stop beating up Adam West. He's old. Respect your elders. Boink. Ouch. Well, bam. Hey, that's a cheap shot. Okay, there we go. Hello again. I'm afraid you'll find I've stepped things up considerably. Which means I think our time together is drawing to a close. Yeah, I know. You have to do the bird mission. That's later in the story, though. I liked how in Arkham City they let you do the, um... I forget when it was, but you could actually unlock the break weapons thing by just upgrading. I wish they kept it that way, but they lock uh, certain upgrades behind later side missions. 
Oh, Link, you're adorable. You are adorable, kitty! Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Don't judge me. Why break things when... Oh, wait. Why Why input passwords when I can break things? Uh... Give me a minute. It'll come to me. So I broke the computer. Uh, can I fit my little batarang in? No, this is not the same puzzle. There's something else I need to do. And it's not open this door yet, right? No, nope, can't open that yet. I'm missing something. I need to destroy another generator thingy, I think. Yep, there it is. I hate you made the right decision. Recognizing when you've been beaten is the first step on the road to self-improvement. Oh wait, what? Oh no, I messed up. No, 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 no. This isn't right. Uh Enigma's using fancy words. I broke the machine. Yeah. And what? Yep. Christmas Day in the East Coast. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yep. Yeah, it is on the ground. That's what I was figuring, John, but I don't see it. And Riddler, you know, he got all smart alecky with me, and he's like, eh, you can't figure this one out. It's like, I remember it's on the ground, but I don't remember what side it's on. You know what? I'm just going to beat up all these smos and uh, figure out from there. And just everyone, everyone that annoys me, I'm just going to go punch him in the face. So these dudes over here, just kind of hanging out. I'm going to beat them up. Wait, where'd they go? Yeah, here we go. I'm going to beat these fools up. Uh, and by fools, I mean the brick wall. I'm going to beat up the fools behind the brick wall. Let's go! I don't know who you are, and it doesn't matter. I'm beating you up anyway. Boom! Nah, you gotta smash them. It's more fun. If you can smash your problems in life, it's good. Condescending. Um, I gotta be careful what I say. <laughs> uh, is Poindexter still okay to say, or is that like really bad now? Merry Christmas! Who needs doors anyway? Doors are optional. Ow! What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't hurt me, cat. Probably okay to say. Okay, it was a. Uh, Nerds didn't used to like it or something. I don't know. Da, 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 da. Whoop. Hey Goki, are you um you're in you're in the city, right? You're uh New York, aren't you? I know there's a couple, there's a couple of you guys from the city. I'm just trying to remember if you're also from the city. From the city, are you? But how did you... I, I was sure you'd fail. No one is this lucky. You need to stop this. Stop what? Cleaning up the streets? Ensuring the GCPD actually does its job? Removing corruption from the system? Was it one of those in particular you took issue with, or all of them? You're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people. So, it gets the job done. And it's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out. 
He has a point. Riddler in this did have a point. Oh, you're Southerner. Okay, okay, okay. Ow, 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 ow. Link, 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 link. You little monster. What are you, why are your paws on my hands like that? How am I going to be able to play with you doing that? Thank you very much, Mr. Soft Paws. Alright, so we're in pretty good shape now. Um, this is, this will be very, very helpful later on, especially when we need to do some other stuff. Um... I'm going to try to go to... I don't think we can do the Diamond District until later. I think this one can be done now. Let's try going to Burnley. And then we'll call... Excuse me. We'll call it a stream. Until tomorrow. Link is feisty. Yup. Well, it's, this is his first Christmas, so... <laughs> Wally. Uh -huh. Who's a good boy? Yeah, you're a good boy. Ah! Now nah, you gotta close your mouth. Close your... So do you guys know Linky has issues with his mouth? Like, he had, um... He had to have uh, teeth surgery or something like that before they would actually... The shelter would give it to him. Or give us him. So his his little jaw doesn't close very well. So he sometimes like if you look at his face, it's like he looks grumpy because his jaw is kind of agape a little bit. Um, he also doesn't have his. Um, usually cats have a lot of teeth. He doesn't have that many teeth still. So he's got his fangs and he's got a couple other things, but he's he's kind of like soft soft teeth guy. He doesn't have that many many teeth left. So. They don't know what happened. The damage probably could have been done by a previous owner. Like the owner that left him or something like that. But, you know, he's a... This little guy has bounced back. He's been with us since um, September now. And he's got full control of the house, it feels like. He's a very affectionate kitty. Uh, he likes to lounge around a lot, which you guys have seen from different... Uh, Vlogs and stuff. Or not vlogs, shorts. You've seen the shorts of Link. He likes to veg out a lot. Mm, he's a big cat, though. He scares Amber, because his, his size is pretty big. Zelda, in comparison, is, is a cat that's like six years old, and Link is only a year... year and three months or something like that. Old. And he's like... Um... Just in general, a bigger cat. But the difference is, you can tell Link is a kitten by his meow. Because his, his meow is very soft-spoken. He doesn't have like a, a grav... Uh, not a gravelly, but like, you know, a more mature-sounding meow. It's a very quiet meow like that of a kitten. That's why actually when we... Um, we heard the cat meow on the phone... We thought he was a kitten because he sounds like a kitten. He doesn't look like... He looks like a full-grown adult cat when you look at him, but he's, you know... He's a baby. A baby that somehow found, like, growth serum food or something. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense because he acts like a kitten, but he's a big cat. Like, if you're, you know, after a cat's been alive for, like, three years or something like that, they get pretty large. Some of them do. Ow. Nuts. You're done. Goodbye. Boink. Boink. So a large child then? Yeah, kind of. But I mean, he's only a year old. I don't know what they were feeding him, but... And he's different than Zelda. He doesn't like his head scratched. He likes his cheeks scratched. When you pet him on his cheeks, it makes him happy. But if you try to pet him on his head like Zelda likes, he doesn't like that. Every cat's different. They're all unique. Industrial Tower. Uh, 
Oh no 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 that was correct that was correct no 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 That was correct Industrial Tower and this is Burnley Burnley Tower I don't know if we can do Burnley Link is a very unique cat yes he is He's a lovable goof Ain't you? Yeah. Kill the, Kill the bat. No, I don't think I'll let you. I am Adam West Batman. I know how to do the Batusi. Do you know how to do the Batusi? I didn't think so. You can't mess with the Batusi. Excuse me. Coming through. Any of you fine gentlemen know how to get to Burnley? <laughs> Whoop. Uh, am I going the right way or the wrong way? Whoops. Wait. I got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order. Oh. Multiple calls. Mm, no. The heck? Where? Where is it? Crime in progress. Oh, crime in progress. I remember those. I liked crimes in progress. It was fun. Ouch. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Eh. For now, let's go here. Yeah, go there. Okay, yeah, that's easier to see. Sorry about that, people. I got a little turned around. Whoop. I don't even know if I technically can do the Burnley thing, but we're going to see. So this episode covered Anarchy, Lacey Towers, some free roaming, some upgrades. Ow. Whoop. And after we activate this next tower, we're going to go back to the bat cave and then we're going to call it. And uh, I am going to wrap Amber's Christmas presents because I'm lazy. Get something to eat and then I'm going to bed. Yatta. Okay, so that's done. You can't do this tower in the diamond district. No, you can't do this one yet. You have to wait till later. Okay, so next is this way. Haha. -ha. That's correct. Blah, 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 Why? Oh, I say. So have any of you guys watched the Christmas movie this year yet? Da -da 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 -da. I think I can do this one. We're going to find out if we can do this one. Might require a gadget I don't have. We'll find out. We'll find out, won't we? Yes, we will. You did? You watched a Christmas movie? Cool, John. I still haven't seen a Christmas movie this year yet. I have seen a couple Christmas anime themed episodes. Stop punching me, I'm an old man. Ow. Boink. Ow. Da 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 Nope. Stay in school. Wait, no, that's not. Master Bruce is busy right now, Alfred. 
Um, he can't come to the phone right now. No, I'm not. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Pretty easy. Zip line action. Ha! Wow, that one's really easy to do. Ta da! Was it impossible? No. I'm upping the stakes, Batman, just like I promised. Tread carefully. What if I don't want to tread carefully? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Nigma? Huh? You gonna cry? Yes, I did. And now the other two towers can't be done until much later in the game. But we can cut down on some free roam time getting to where we need to go by being able to travel now to four different towers. Oh, actually, this is the real stuff. Hey, the door was mean to me. Okay? Stop. You're cheating, aren't you? You're getting help from someone. Yes, I am. Cool. Guilty as charged. Smart enough to outsmart me. <laughs> no one's helping me, Enigma. Did you ever consider maybe you're not as clever? Oh! Says the man who seems to have mistaken Christmas Eve for Halloween. <laughs> Taking your network down. <laughs> Spoken like a true Neanderthal. Well, you can certainly try. You can try. The offer was like a boink. What do you get? Boink. This. I'm just setting up tomorrow's stream, guys and gals. One second. I forgot to do this before because, uh, I don't know. Lazy? Maybe? Maybe a little bit? Uh, Christmas Day, December 25th. Um, let's shoot for 6 o'clock tomorrow. If anyone ever wants to stream something, go for it. But I'm not streaming until 6. I'll do 6 and 9 tomorrow. And then we're back to our regularly scheduled stream, uh, stream times of 4, 6, 8, and 11-ish on... Wait, no, we're not exiting. What am I doing? We're going to the back cave. Whoop. Yoink. Going to the back cave. Uh. Whoops, I didn't get it. Concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, 
You'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. <laughs> Noted. Alfred, where are you going, man? Thank goodness you're all right, sir. You had me quite worried. Slade Wilson is no ordinary foe. He ambushed me. I should have been more prepared. You had no way of knowing he was on the ship. That may be. But I was so focused on Cobblepot, I lost track of my surroundings. It was sloppy. Amateur. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. There's too much at stake for me not to be. Bat Cave Chats. Hey, Linky. Alfred, how are things? Status quo, sir. Status quo. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. Alright, guys and gals. Um, Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Arkham Origins will continue tomorrow at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and 9 o'clock or maybe even 8. And then on uh, Wednesday, the 26th. Or wait, no. On Tuesday, the 26th. You'll have um, probably three episodes of Arkham Origins at uh, 4, 6, and 8. And I'll have Ultimates again until New Year's Eve. And then New Year's Eve, we'll be starting the Cold Cold Heart DLC. And also, we'll be doing some challenge maps uh, for Arkham Origins that we've never done as live streams. I don't believe. I don't think we ever did um, that and Bruce Wayne's... Um, Ninja years. We've never done a live stream of that ever. I don't personally like that, but I think we'll do it. So have a safe Christmas, people. I will see you here tomorrow. Uh, same bat time. <laughs> same bat channel. Catch you later. And Merry Christmas to all and to all a good bat.